What's up guys, welcome back to Rising Thrills. In this video, I will be counting down my top 10 most anticipated roller coasters in the world. Let's get right into it. Coming up at number 10 of my most anticipated roller coasters is Velocicoaster. The reason this is so low is it's not because it's a bad roller coaster. No, this is a great roller coaster and I'm so excited to ride it. The thing is, it's just, you know, I'll probably, this will probably be the coaster I'll ride the, the soonest um, because it's just, you know, it's in Florida. I live in Pennsylvania. So like, I mean, I'm not going to ride it like next year, but I probably will end up riding it within the next like 10 years. So um, it's not like in a different country, you know, on the other side of the world. So it's close enough where, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those rides that, um, you know, I'll put at, you know, the end of the list, just because, um, it, I'll probably ride it this, the soonest. Um, but yeah, number 10 is Velocicoaster. Moving on to number 9. Coming up at number 9 is Iron Gwazi. The reason this is at number 9 is the same reason 10 is at number 10. It's just, um, you know, it would be higher if it was further away. I mean, these coasters look like great coasters, and I'm so excited to ride them. But I'll probably end up riding them within the next, like, five years. When the other coasters, you know, who knows? It might be, like, you know, 30 years before I get on them. Um, So, this is just one of those, like, it looks like a great coaster, but I'm probably going to get it, get on this coaster way before some of the coasters higher on the list. And that's really why these coasters are on the list. Yeah, they're, you know, great coasters is one of the... um criteria but the other criteria is it's going to be coasters that are far away from me and you know florida it, it is a, a good distance but it's not as far as you know other continents as some of the other coasters so now moving on to number eight coming up at number eight is the smiler at alton towers in the united kingdom um the reason i don't have this any higher on the list is um this is a great ride but you know, it's mainly just inversions, and after a while, inversions can get pretty re repetitive, um, and, you know, I don't really like repetitive rides. I mean, yeah, our time is nice to have a lot of airtime, but, you know, repetitive rides can get a little boring, so um, it definitely looks like a great ride. You know, it's on this list, but it's not the best ride in the entire world, so it's not any higher than it is, but yeah, number eight was the Smiler at Alton Towers in the United Kingdom. Coming up at number seven is Red Force at Ferrari World in Spain. Um, yeah, this does look like a really good ride, but you know, a lot of people probably would put this higher on their most anticipated roller coasters, but you know, it, 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 it's definitely a short ride, and you know, I, I definitely do like rides like Storm Runner and stuff, but um, uh, it, it definitely, I definitely, you know, want to get on this eventually, but it's not my number one coaster, you know, of course we'll get to my number one most anticipated roller coaster, but you know, it, it, it definitely does look like a good roller coaster, and I am excited to get on it. Um, moving on to number six. Coming up at number six is DC Rival Coaster in Australia. Um, this looks like a good roller coaster. Um, I have heard a lot of people saying it's not as good as they um, anticipated it was going to be. Um, but, um, it looks like a good roller coaster, and I'm just, you know, it, if I ever get on it, I definitely would be excited to get on it. So, yeah. Number six is DC Rival Coasters. Moving on to number five. Coming up at number five is Batman Gotham City Escape at Warner Brothers Movie World in Spain. Um, this looks like a great roller coaster. It's an Intamin, um, LSM multi-launching coaster. Um, looks like a great coaster, um, and, you know... It's an intimate, you know, great manufacturer, of course. So, um, it looks like a roller coaster, a good coaster, and you know, of course, if, for all these coasters, if I ever do get on it, it looks like, you know, a highly anticipated roller coaster. And you know, it, it's it's really one of those. I would put it higher, but you know, you never know how good some of these roller coasters are. So, you know, I'm putting Batman Gotham City Escape at Warner Brothers Movie World in Spain at number five. Moving on to number four. Coming up at number four is big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the United Kingdom. This looks like a great coaster, a narrow coaster, and a hyper coaster. Uh, looks like a good amount of airtime and stuff, and you know, just a good location, of course, the view on this ride. It looks like a good ride. Um, 
And uh, this isn't my most anticipated roller coaster, but um, I just couldn't think of a better one for number four. So I just put this down. And it, it does look like a good coaster. Um, so number four is big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the United Kingdom. Moving on to number three. Coming up at number three is Zodra. This looks like a great roller coaster. Um, I would have put it higher, but RMCs aren't my favorite coaster. I know a lot of people have, um, you know, said, oh, it's a great, you know, manufacturer. Yeah, their coasters are good, but they're not the best in the world. Um, you know, maybe it's just, you know, because I haven't been on a lot of RMCs. I've only been on two RM RMCs, Wild Catch Revenge and um, New uh, Jersey Devil coaster. So um, maybe if I get on more RMCs, it'll, you know, be a... You know, I put this higher in my um, bucket list or my most anticipated roller coasters. It's just, you know, the experience I have had on the RMCs I've been on. Eh, I mean, yeah, they're great coasters. I have a lot of fun, but they're not my favorite coasters. I still prefer, like, Intamin roller coasters. But Zodra at Energylandia definitely looks like a good roller coaster. It looks like probably the best RMC. Um, but of course I haven't ridden it. I can't say that until I actually ride it. Um, but it definitely looks like a great coaster. Um, and I'm excited to get on here. As all of these coasters in this list, I'm just excited to get on. Moving on to number two. Coming up at number two is Hyperion at Energylandia. This looks like a great roller coaster. Um, you know, of course, the only thing that I've ever been on that's really like it is Skyrush. And you know, I love Skyrush. It's number two in my rankings. So this just looks like an insane coaster. It looks like you get a lot of ejector at a time. It looks like, you know, you'll be you know, up and down of your seat a lot. It, it just looks like a great coaster. This is one of those coasters that just looks insane. And I just, this is one of those where like the stats does mean something. Cause like, you know, with hyper coasters, you know, the height actually does mean something because, you know, the higher it is, the more drop you get. And the more drop you get, the more air time you get when you go over the hills, you know, cause how fast you go. Um, but, you know, this just looks like a great coaster. Um, of course, you know, I haven't been on it, so I don't know how it is, but it definitely looks like it would be, you know, number, you know, high up in my rankings once I ride it. Because it looks like a great coaster, and, you know, Energy Landy overall just looks like a great park. Um, so now moving on to number one. Coming up at number one is Ride to Happiness. Um, this looks like a great ride. Many people have this ranked as their number one coaster. Even people that have been on almost every coaster in the world have this ranked as their number one coaster because it definitely looks like a great coaster. And this is one of those coasters that I'm just like, uh, once I get on this, I'm probably gonna be so excited. Like when I get to this park or whatever, I would be so excited. I mean, obviously I don't know if I'll ever ride it, but this is definitely one of those rides that like, Definitely, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get on that if I'm ever in the area of this park. Um, it, it looks like a great ride, Ride to Happiness, and um, it, it just looks so good. And um, yeah, so that was my top 10 most anticipated roller coasters in the whole world. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.